Hello and welcome to the Gnomecast. My name is Tarmac and I'm doing a little bit of sharpshooter action here in Hawken using the SA Hawkins as the primary weapon, which is kind of a autocannon-ish sort of thing, and the Sabbat rifle. It's all about the sniper action. Let's see if we can't pick up a couple of kills while we're at it. Come on, man. A little bit of long range. No, no, come back out. Come back out. No, he's not coming out for me. So, while you're playing, of course, you can heal yourself a little bit. You've got the repair bot coming out to help you out. A little bit of welding and you're back in the action again. And as you can see, it's a very, very fast moving game. I like the sharpshooter though. Pretty high damage. And every mech that you've got has something of a special ability. This one here, and if you hit the F key, you can sort of pump up your damage for a short period of time. Up in the top left of the GUI, there's that little hand with the white sort of ticker timer counting down as soon as it gets full then we've got a, the ability is basically is that's when you can activate it all right let's get into the fray I was kind of hoping I was gonna get some sniping targets but maybe we'll have to do this at closer range close for comfort. <laughs> well, that didn't turn out very well at all, did it? Back in we get. The other basic controls that you've got, hold down the shift key and either forward for basically just a, a faster movement rate, or you can go left and right, which gives you a sidestep sort of a dash to the side so you can get behind some cover nice and quick down you go my friend excellent it is all about the pentiums Some camera problems. Come on, then. No, no, no healing. <laughs> Beauty. Oh, we got some friends over here. Out on our own. That's too bad. Now, so far, they don't have any music, which I'd kind of like a little bit more audio. But I guess, I mean, you can always substitute your own stuff for that. That works just fine. And there's a lot of stuff that's just not finished yet, obviously. When you get to the end of a map... The end of the map, the, the sort of win screen or lose screen is not filled in. Blast. Caught unawares. Get some healing. But I'm really liking the sharpshooter so far. You get some long range kind of attacks you can pull off. Middle mouse button just by default zooms in. But you can also take it short range as well which is kind of nice. You don't have to be zoomed in to actually pull off some pretty wicked kills. What I want to see more of, though, to be honest with you, perfectly honest, 
is I want to see some eSports support behind Hawken. Very specifically, I'd like to see a spectator mode, so you can just join a server and watch the action, preferably from some kind of a floating vantage point. That would be really nice. And it would also be really great to have replay saving, which at present isn't a feature that's in. I've asked them about it, but I haven't got any answers just yet. I had chatted with one of the developers a while ago and had been told, of course, he's a an old-time pro gamer. That's what I get for talking too much. Getting my butt whooped. So one of their devs was an old-time pro gamer and that was really all he would tell me about it. There is some sort of a plan for the eSports thing. And, uh, of course, it stands to reason because Hawken is uh, its basically funded by the same guys that did League of Legends. The same backing company. <laughs> That's not going to end well. <laughs> Down again. Gotta be honest, still trying to get my sea legs in this one. I've been playing a little bit too much Tribes Ascend, which has a, a very particular way of controlling things. So this is a little bit, a little bit different, takes some getting used to. Alright, cool down, cool down, come on. Oh! Who's shooting at me? God damn it. Zip around the corner. And heal up a little bit again. As I said, Marksman is fun. Haven't done anything with the customization just yet. Bought a couple of mechs. And I paid for the... Uh, the experience bonus. Or experience booster. And the Hawken points booster. And... Mostly just because I wanted to make sure that I really maximized my time in the game. They, uh, they start you off with some points just so you've got something in the beta test. It's not, we're not talking real money just yet, but, oh, come on. <laughs> not talking real points just yet, as far as throwing any money into it. And I don't know if they're going to have any kind of a pre-order bonus. I would assume that they would. You know, a lot like the, the Founders program for MechWarrior. Um, I'm kind of surprised they haven't done that yet, to be perfectly honest with you. Not sure how I like those odds. Not at all. He's following me. Too far away from the team. This is supposed to be a team deathmatch after all this particular round. They've also got a couple of other game modes as well. So your basic deathmatch, your team deathmatch. They've also got a game mode called Siege. God, doing good, not dying, and talking all at the same time is actually kind of tough. So the Siege mode, you're picking up energy from various places around the map. You can pick it up from other people that you're killing. You take it back to your base, and you charge up this sort of mothership kind of thing. Mother's, mothership takes off towards the enemy base. And you have to then, uh, well, how was it? There was a, uh, a missile turret or an air defense that you need to try and control when your ship is in the air so that it doesn't get shot down when it gets the other to the enemy base. It'll start to damage there, sort of in a, you know, the tower defense MOBA style, but done in first person. Oh, terrible. <laughs> Let's 
so good stuff. Guess we're getting up on this particular game being over. But I think I'm going to close this video up here. This gives you a pretty good idea of how the sharpshooter plays. Again, you've got your your usual sniper rifle zoom, picking people off from a long distance away. Or you can get right down and dirty, nice and close, just like any other mechs. Let's see, can we get one more kill? Yes, we can. And that'll close it up for this one. My name's Tarmac, and this has been the Gnomecast. Playing a little bit of the Hawk in closed beta. Cheers, guys.